welcome to Countdown to Kickoff. I'm Hannah Chalker. This week we're previewing every SEC matchup, right here and right now. Week 8 of the season is here and there are some crucial matchups that could set up the biggest game in the SEC this season. This Saturday, LSU hosts Auburn and Alabama welcomes Tennessee. Wins by the Tigers and the Tide will set up the game everyone is waiting for. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Tigers will tangle in Baton Rouge this weekend. Number one in undefeated LSU defends its home turf versus number 20 Auburn. These teams have been the best two in the SEC since 2004. A win on Saturday will be the best start for LSU since 1973. As for the Auburn Tigers, they're 5-2 and, and coming off a hard-fought win versus Florida. Head coach Gene Chizik used three quarterbacks in the game, and he's still looking for someone to spark that offense. In fact, for that very reason, he has tabbed sophomore Clint Mosley to make his first ever start. Despite being 7-0, Alabama is number two in the country, but number one in the SEC in just about every defensive category. Also number one in the country in scoring defense, allowing just seven points per game. The Tide is also number one in the SEC in scoring offense. The conference's leading rusher and scorer is running machine Trent Richardson. He averages 130 yards and nearly 14 points a game. But there's some tough times on Rocky Top. First, the Vols lose quarterback Tyler Bray, then they lose to LSU, and now comes Alabama. It's the first time that Tennessee has ever played the number one and number two teams in the country in back-to-back -back weeks. In the other conference games this week, number nine Arkansas plays at Ole Miss. It's only the second true road game of the season for the Razorbacks. The Hogs are 5-1, their best start yet under head coach Bobby Petrino. And they're first in the conference in passing at nearly 337 yards per game. Second in scoring offense at 39 a contest. Ole Miss is still looking for its first conference win of the season. Part of the reason they're 2-4 is that the Rebels allow more than 440 yards per game. Head coach Houston Nutt is facing his former team for the fourth time so far. He has two wins versus one loss. Kentucky is coming off a much-needed bye week and hosts Jacksonville State in a non-conference game. This will be the first of three straight home games for the Wildcats and a chance to get the season back on track. Head coach Joker Phillips will be looking for a new feature back. Josh Clemens was hurt in South Carolina game and is out for the rest of the season. And Vanderbilt will also be playing a non-conference game this week. The Commoners welcome Army to Nashville. Vanderbilt leads the nation in passes intercepted with 15. That's the good news. The problem is Army doesn't waste its time passing. These two teams have met eight times, each winning four games, so this one is the tiebreaker. Stay connected. The season is winding down and the games only get more important as we head into late October. And don't forget to check back on Saturday to get complete highlights of the games on Game Day Central, right here on the SEC Digital Network. I'm Hannah Chalker.